Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I am back. I have my water. I'm being a good girl. It's my last electrolyte water. Um, I was going to try to save it, but um, I knew I needed to get this done. I didn't have a lot of time. And I have, I have, I was on a subscription. It was cheaper than what you could get it at Walmart for. It was really cheap. My son-in-law was like, gosh, that's great. And then um, I found... Uh, electrolyte powder that was less than the month subscription for three of us to add into our water and so it, it's electrolytes it has antioxidants etc and um, so that's I won't there are things that because of our the pay cut we're um, we're being very judicious with our spending and so I really weigh and look and constantly make sure that I have the best prices on whatever or if we act if we actually have to have it so if we don't have it I don't keep it we skip that month and we go on to the next so anyways um but it's it's been a journey and I shared a little bit about that in my previous video so, well, I did get my water, because I know they'll, I know a couple of y'all will say, where was your water? <laughs> so, I have it now, I promise. Okay, so I'm in my big happy planner, which I love, and I love having everything in here. This has been a life changer. I, shockingly enough, who has had a planner for everything, am loving this setup. So, I'll share more about that in a little bit, too. I'm using my faith by B, me and my big ideas. I also pulled some of my um these are just big pin from um i was trying to see no these are just notepads so these are not even sticky so i i have you know i have my tape runner and things like that here and i can put them down oh there you go i just knocked it all down doggone <laughs> i tell you what when you've been sick and you haven't been in here for everything everything just comes back in here again it's crazy but that's okay i'll pick it all up in a little bit so but i have this out in case i need it all right guys let's get started i already started this video once but i have been working on a budget and i didn't recognize that i had some sensitive information and so i had to pull that out so um, i had to restart it so i'm going to work on this week so today is tuesday i'm a day behind but that's okay i'll go back and i'll just do some basic you know memory planning um it was a memorable day for sure <laughs> So, okay, my prayer for you guys is that everything is going well for you today. Um, you're all in my thoughts and prayers. I wake up praying for you guys. I think it's a result of having been sick. Because <laughs> I would wake up praying in the middle of the night and um, when I couldn't sleep. So, what a blessing to come out of a horrible time to wake up praying for people by name. What a blessing that is. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be working on, I, you know, I've have, had a couple of prayer um, journals over the years, and I am really excited to really do something different with you guys. So I hope, um, yeah, I, I just have to figure out the printing. My daughter found the, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, ooh, there's some of that, too. Hmm. Maybe I'll use both. Um, found the ink for me. So this is a printer that has hardly been printed on <laughs> in a year or more, and definitely not by me. So I was so proud of her for finding that and so thankful. Um, sorry, guys. I'm still just getting used to being back in here. Can you tell? I just feel like, you know, the clumsy oaf, you know, <laughs> just trying to get it done. But um, let me turn it this way, and I think that'll be easier. Um we are doing well and if you guys aren't going to see the other video i'll just kind of tell you briefly we are doing good and yes looks like i did have a relapse um that is happening now and that was what i was told that relapses are happening and um no i did not tell a lot of people when i was sick that that's what we thought it was and on and on you know and um my eldest daughter did say because they got sick as well um, where they got it because I was with them and that's probably where I got it but they were really quick to say well it was you know it was probably this and I said and it probably was I knew when they had told me about the the young man and I said and he couldn't help it you know except for now if he was there and he was sick he could have helped that but you know there's grace and um, and we're okay nobody died you know yes it was a risk but we're okay by God's grace so anyways you know, you know, 
you know your kids and and I mean they get it you know they're pretty they're pretty clinical in a lot of ways because they do re they do medical research you know I mean whereas I would not be so <laughs> I would be more like oh my goodness gracious you know that because that's who I am unfortunately <laughs> they're just like oh well the science is you know but and that is a blessing I will tell you as a mom you know it's always nice to have this crew have that one little piece is it gonna connect them oh look at that Talk about being cheap. Man, did that pay off. <laughs> so, anyways, and I do want to use this one as well. So, I want to subdivide this. I have really loved putting everything in this planner. Um, I do have my, my little planner that I am, and I just found this. I had missed this. I haven't used it yet. Um, I did find my other, let's see, yeah. Um, and it's about here that I switch gears. Um, I did find in my other little planner, um, marking down what was delivered and when, and when was it to be expected. That has been an invaluable tool, and I will come back and plan in that one tomorrow. Um, it's getting late, and i got to get dinner going here. Um, and it is sweet potato with pecans, pancakes, or waffles. I think I'm going to do waffles. Um, I don't like pancakes as much. I know, I know. Isn't it that's sacrilegious, right? <laughs> to a lot of you. <laughs> but I, um, and I'm just joking. Um, I, I don't know. To me, waffles are, they just are easier on my stomach somehow. I don't know how it works. I think I just get way too excited when it's pancakes and I eat too fast. <laughs> In reality. So, um, but my family is fine either way. It's It's a carb night and we had a... We actually had, like, actual, a protein, um, we had veggie hot dogs, and it, you know, there's a, a, there's a protein in it, and so I feel like it's okay for us tonight, um, to have that, and we've been eating lots and lots of veggies, and for a while there, we were running out of veggies, and I have to tell you, you know, not having an appetite when I was sick, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, for somebody who needs to lose weight, that's always, that, that was a blessing. But it also made our fridge stretch, and that I was thankful for. And, um, but we've had three grocery orders, and we can't get any orders right now, which is concerning. Um, there's a question of potentially shutting things down in the state. There's, there's a bunch, you know how it is, people just send stuff out everywhere, and, our daughter-in-law's um, dad is a police officer in one of the big cities, so, you know, I just, in the family loop, I said, could you maybe ask your dad? <laughs> so, um, because if that's true, we can't get certain things right now. And, um, you know, we are vegetarians. We actually eat vegetables, you know. <laughs> that's where our grocery people are so sweet. But we did stock up on some, like, you know veggie whatever you know what I mean we we found other things to eat we were not doing without you know um, lots of beans and um, yeah I made soup from every vegetable that started to go bad when I was sick and my daughter just missed them and whatever scraps we have goes straight out to the chickens and you know our chickens and ducks and geese that are left from the attack the adult ones not the babies and, uh, yeah, so, I mean, we're all doing, um, well, we're eating well, and we're thankful. I'm going to split the difference in some of these, and I'll tell you why. Um, I love having the ability to write on both sides. It, it's just a, it's just really, um, been a blessing. And because that is white back, I'm going to go ahead and take that up after I already put it down, because I wasn't thinking. And I've packed up my tool again. Oh, my Mary, uh, my creative memory tool. So, anyways, um, I've talked to several friends. I've checked on friends and family. Tried to, especially when I was at, you know, sick. I could sit on my my computer and get that done. And um, I have a lot of friends that did exactly like us. They weren't feeling great, but they they just sheltered in. And unless they got really, really bad. And so, um, you know, and my encouragement has been, we did the same thing. We were advised to do that. 
um, because of my autoimmune, but, um, but we will go get the test to be sure. And, um, you know, and so my friends are like, oh, you know, that's, I hadn't thought about that. You know, it's like, yeah, y you want to know, you know, um, people, it may help find, you know, something that could cure this, you know. So, okay, that's an even, I need more purple over here. So that's going to be my next focus. <laughs> Um, but, ooh, I like that, and that is a to-do list. Hmm, I think that one's coming out. I just want to stick with the purple and the peach this week. So, take these out. Ooh, those aren't as wet as I thought they were going to be. That's a bummer, but that's okay. Um, oh, you know why? They're cut, they're cut wrong. <laughs> you know what, we're going to make that be a design. It's going to be fine. <laughs> So, um, okay, and I want to use this one. So I want this purple, because I want these for lists, my to-do lists, and this one. So I'll have three. Yeah, i got to go with this one. All right, and I may come back and use those. So, but, um, anyways, so we are thankful and we know that it is a blessing, everything that people are doing to help us, and we are beyond grateful. And our kids are amazing. Um, you know, they're really pretty even keel. It, there has been stress in our house because my husband has taken over my dad's CPA practice, and we have clients that are older and not all of them are understanding that it's not imperative right now that we get things out, that everybody needs to focus on getting better, you know, things like that. And, um, you know, bless their hearts. Everybody has, they're going through what they're going through. And so that has been, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. That has been stressful. It really has been. And, and as much as we, love our clients um 85 90 percent have been fantastic no problem you guys get well don't worry we're good you know he he's got to save his other his real job you know kind of thing and it's like thank you um and his job is also trying to help his people you know his team so um but and and to be a very valuable asset you know for his company and so Anyways, um, we, we take work pretty seriously around here. We we believe that we do all things as a bunch of the Lord. So, a good word. Okay. So, I'm going to put this down. And I am really purposefully working on only watching, um, like I've said before, I watch about 10 minutes of the, of the news, news, national news, and then I turn it off. And then I really try to focus on something positive. So, that's what I'm going to put up here. Things that are positive. Um, I think it is a good practice for all of us. So, and I'm going to let that kind of, yeah. Mm, do I want to, no, I'm not going to trim off the white. I've got a lot of white in that piece of other places. I'm going to pretend like it's a design thing. <laughs> ah, but i got to get it straight, right? <laughs> so, anyways, but, um, yeah. So, that... That, I, I'm really loving the positivity of things that are happening in the world, too, right now. And that does not look good at all. So, I'm going to switch this around. <laughs> I should have thought this through better. Sorry. <laughs> oh, goodness. I just try and try to do the right thing, and I still get it wrong. <laughs> okay, guys, are you laughing with me? Come on, you need to laugh. And a merry heart make it like a medicine, Scripture tells us. And you know what? Even on the worst days, we need to find something that we can smile or, you know, laugh about or something. And um, I had a friend who used to tell her husband, it is your job to make me laugh every day. And after my parents passed away, my husband is not that kind of guy. <laughs> He's very diligent. Um, he, he's he's very smart so sometimes his humor is like you don't say that out loud do you <laughs> you know and it's not bad it's just it's just not funny you know so <laughs> I always tell him like 
think if I would laugh at it, you know, think if, think if Jesus would laugh at that, you know, would people get it, you know, kind of thing. And, um, but, um, my husband hasn't, he's been very stressed and, you know, and I shared when I was sick, I wasn't sharing everything with him and I started to share a few things today and he was like, whoa, you know, and I just said, you know, look, everything was fine. We are all okay. You know, it's all good. So I think, you know, for all of us, we just need to focus on something that would be encouraging that day. You know, I mean, I think that is, I love this, and it's one of my favorite hymns. It is well with my soul, and there's my colors. So there's, there's my encouragement for the week. Um, I just, you know, if I could just say anything, don't get bogged down. Don't feel overwhelmed. Pray. You know, focus on... If you can't get up and go do things because you're too tired or you've been sick, then, like, do what I did. I started working on, like, um, things to put up for our family. You know, food, things like that that we could order. Things that we could afford. You know, not the things we couldn't afford. <laughs> Believe me, that was all clipped pretty quickly. Um, yeah. And there are some, I have to tell you, I'm so impressed with the people that... Like, absolutely no problem. You are released of this subscription order or whatever. Um, there is one that did not do that. And I have to tell you, um, I was not impressed. I will complete the subscription. But in reality, I probably won't be back. Let's see. Tune my heart to, this, to sing thy grace. Oh, I love that. So, um, and there are people out there that are, and, and I, you know, if anybody that I had to stop, stop subscribing to or I couldn't, like I couldn't get the By the Well for God right now. Number one, I can't get it to my house. And, and if to get it to my house, it puts other people in danger. And number, and, and the other thing was, I just had to cut back and until we could figure out what was going on. And, um, and when I reached out to Lori, who, y'all guys, please be praying, the new kit's out, it's gorgeous, and I figured out a way that I might be able to afford the kit, just bare bones, and then, um, how to get it to us, and, um, but those guys, they are carrying a heavy, heavy load right now, I mean, it's big, by themselves as a family, um, it's just she and her husband, and their two twin daughters, that are teenagers, and because they had to release their employees, they could, the employees could not be there. And I think I might go with that. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one. Uh, no, that's more the color. Okay. Anyways, let me see if there's anything else. Um, nah, I didn't think there was. But um, please be praying for them. Um, they have asked for prayer. She's asked specifically for prayer, and I, I've already put it out on many different places. So please be praying for By the Well for God. They are... They are in the trenches. They are in a state that has been sick for a while. They are themselves, you know, tired from doing what they're doing. And, um, and they are concerned on, on a lot of different, on a lot of different issues. So, you know, pray for their, their ability to keep, to be able to still work. Even though it's just, and I said, well, legally you should be able. And she said, well, we don't know. And I said, okay. Um, they should be able to stay open, um, you know, because it's just their family. It's a family-owned business. They should be able to be in their store unless the state, like, shuts down all travel. So, anyway, so please be in prayer for them. Um, I'm going to put peace up here because that is my, peace is my prayer right now. Um, I love have a little faith, but I thought I saw one back here that I liked as well. So, please be in prayer for them. Also, guys, if you want to dig into the Word right now, and you want a top-of-the-line, phenomenal Bible journaling kit, yeah, I highly, highly recommend By the Well for God. Um, absolutely one of my favorite, absolute Bible journaling kits. And you don't have to Bible journal. You can do it in a notebook. You can do whatever works for you. Just one second. It's my sweet honey. Yes? Hey, I'm finishing up my video. Where are you? Okay. 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 
Is the gate locked? Um, well, I'll lock it when I get done washing. Okay, yeah, lock it pretty quick. Okay, I love you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, sorry, I had to take that call. I'm so sorry. That was my sweet husband, and it's getting dark, and he's he's married to this wife that's concerned for his safety. Okay, he came home from with the shutdown and had a rattler right by his truck. So also, um, he was moving the truck around because we had to clean out a vehicle that we have that a neighbor needed. So we're giving, you know, they're, they're going to see if they can get it up and running and, you know, and all of that. So anyways, long story short, um, he, um, he, we had agreed that when he moved the vehicle, he has to let me know where he is. That's just, I know, I know, I know, I know, I hear you, but it is what works. And it is what encourages him. It lets him know that he's loved. And it lets him know that he's cared for. And that we are concerned for his safety and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, he can get very distracted. He's very, I love this, finding joy in the journey. That's the one I wanted. Okay, guys, this is a rough journey. But we need to try to find joy. We need to find um, beautiful stories of people doing amazing things. We need to encourage those that are in difficult situations. We, I, I purposely try to send my sister something that makes her laugh every day. I'm not kidding you. I know I do not want that there. That eats up too much space. So let me see if I can get this up. Um, I, cause she's on the front lines, um, in, in the hospital. She is literally working with COVID patients every day now. And, um, Lord willing, when she doesn't get sick and she's in the process, she was in the process of applying for a job um, for the last year. And of course it came in the day they started taking COVID patients. So, um, and she couldn't turn in her resignation until, because they were going to shut that hospital down, they decided to go ahead and open it. So, you know, there are all kinds of things that are going on that it just seemed like, wow, how is that even able to happen? You know, wow. So I have a really weird thought on this. So hold on and hang with me because I'm going to try something different. I want to put this. Yeah, I like that. I don't know. Can y'all see that? I like that little purple. It's like a, it didn't match it up per per perfect, perfectly, Ugh. but I wanted it. I wanted it there. So, okay. So I do want to put some of these little vines and let me see if there's any other florals on this. I don't think there are. Hold on. Okay. No, I think that's where we start getting into the others. I absolutely love this pack. I wish I had six of them. I really do. I have really, really um, been using it, and I'm, I'm just so thankful for it. So, all right. So let me just look up in here. Then I know, I know what comes in that next part. I'm going to keep that there because I know I'm going to be using the little Bibles, and I wanted to use some of these. I'm a rose gold, rose gold girl. And, yeah, you know I'm going to use my rose gold. <laughs> so, anyways. But, um, but there's things that we can do to encourage others while we're at home. Maybe we're going a little star crazy, but we can do things. So, anyways, okay, I'm going to pull this up one more time. I know, I can hear you playing ahead. <laughs> Just changing my mind. Don't y'all do that? Uh-oh, I'm, okay, I think I've got a little bit of time left. I need to get, I need to boogie on. So, okay, I think I'm going to do something like that. I want the most to show as possible. There we go. That's what I want to do. Um, watched a lot of movies. <laughs> Gotta tell you. Oh, gosh. Um, I feel like my chair should be worn out because when I'm sick, anything to do with respiratory, I always sleep upright. So if you are having problems breathing, I don't know that it helps. But I was always taught, because I had so much asthma and bronchitis and pneumonia, that sleeping at an angle is always good. So, you know, see if that might help. I don't know. Um, but I'm very thankful that for that very inexpensive, I think it was like a $184 chair, rocker recliner. So, ooh, I love these. Do I want to do these? Yes. No, because I already have that there. Okay. I don't want to take away. But, um, yeah, I mean, I feel like I've lived that a, a million miles. And, uh, yeah, 
So anyways, all these things that are going on, we can find joy in our journey. We can pray for others. We can encourage others. And if we're sick and we're not able to really talk, we can send emails. We can do all kinds of things. And that is what I chose to do. And um, tried to reach out to people. There were times I could type more. There were times I couldn't type at all. And, you know, I'm going to be honest, you know, just checking. Want to make sure you're doing okay, that kind of a thing. Okay, so I love this. I love these right here, and I'm going to um, try to designate a time for me to work on my Bible study. And I will be back with that right after this. I'm super excited. So what I'm going to do is just have one time every day, and that's what it's going to be. So mine, our sleep cycle got way off because my husband was working late when he first came home, like sometimes till 5.30 in the morning. Um, I um, would stay up to make sure he was okay, you know, that kind of a thing. And, um, you know, so, but now we're trying to get our sleep cycle back. I'm not yet able to, but I'm working on it, I promise. <laughs> so I'm gonna scoot that one over because it's, you know, don't wanna mess with my peace. <laughs> want to keep the peace <laughs> so anyways but um, I do want to get organized where I can plan this time and I love the leaders of this Bible so you're like please pull out your planner and plan what time you know that kind of a thing so I am totally happy with this I am done I hope you guys enjoyed this um, again it was just this I did use a this particular washies from Simply Gilded had it in my stash and everything else came right out of here okay friends I'm going to let you go I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely please be safe shelter in I was told yesterday if you don't need you don't need that gallon of milk anymore no more going to the no, we haven't been I said well we're not going and they're like okay good no one needs to get that gallon of milk right now We've got to get everybody in so the hospitals can catch up or prevent it from spreading. So do your best, guys. God is in control. No matter what, he loves you. He knows right where you are. You just have to reach out and ask him um, to be with you and to give you that peace, especially when you're sick. you got to have that peace or the financial peace right now because this is, there's no doubt, this is a scary time. But the best part in all of this is, we don't need to worry. We just need to trust God. My favorite life verse is, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And I combined two versions, so please forgive me. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. And He will guide your path. I trust God. I do. Um, everything I do now is to prepare for my family because I believe that God wants me to be ready. And he tells all of us to be ready in his word. Be ready for things that come. Be ready for when Jesus does return and all those good things. And so right now, we don't know when that is. And so we're getting ready. And we're also preparing in case, God forbid, you know, we're without a job. So it's, it's, uh, it's a different time, yes. But there's joy in this journey. And the joy that comes in my journey is a result of my walk with the Lord. Okay, friends, I love you. Y'all be good, be safe, and I'll be talking to you soon. Y'all come on back. I'll share that Bible study. Okay, guys, talk to you later. Bye-bye.